Uh, but we will be using a little science today. Uh, with the coronavirus doing the rounds, you need to know how to protect yourself. Now, what, the best way of protecting yourself against all infectious diseases is washing your hands. Now, soap works fine, but you need to wash your hands for at least 20 minutes. And at the end of this, I will show you how to wash your hands properly. Um, but first we're going to make some hand sanitizers that you can carry around with you and use whenever you want to. I'm actually making two types of hand sanitizers. The first one is a gel based san hand sanitizer. Um, basically this is alcohol based and the alcohol has to be strong enough to kill the virus. So we're starting off with an aloe vera based gel. You see here. Now if you live somewhere where aloe grows, you can actually go and harvest aloe and get the, the juice of the aloe and that will work. And I'll actually show you how to, protect, how to um, make sure there are no bacteria in that aloe juice in a, in a few minutes. So we're going to take this gel. We need 100 mils. So I'm just going to squirt it into the bowl here. Now you have to measure quite accurately for this because the strength of the alcohol needs to be right. So that's the, the gel. Now what the gel does actually it protects your skin. Alcohol, it'll kill the virus but it'll dry your skin and crack skin, normal skin won't let the virus through. So just to be clear, you can only contract coronavirus through your nose, mouth and possibly through your eyes, so it's the mucous membranes. You cannot contract the virus through your skin unless the skin is broken. So if you have a cut, you have cracked skin, then it's possible for the virus to enter. So you have to be careful when you're making any alcohol-based um, emollient, and that, that just means something you can wash yourself with, that you need something to prevent the alcohol from cracking your skin. Because there's no point washing your hands, cracking your skin, and then making places for the virus to infect through your hands. So that's why I'm ad adding the moisturizer in here. That will help moisturize your skin, it'll prevent your skin from cracking. Now if you don't want, want to go out and buy a moisturizer, uh, basically any moisturizer will do. It's good if it has aloe or something in there that will protect your skin and, and uh, make it soft again so it doesn't crack. You can actually go and collect aloe plants, peel them, scrape out the juice, you use hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide is the same stuff that you use to bleach your hair and it's available in pretty much all chemists. So I'm just going to measure out, I'm taking a measuring, a measuring cylinder here. There. Now this just allows me to measure accurately up to 100 mils. So I'm taking 30 mils here of hydrogen peroxide. Now, note the hydrogen peroxide is not there to protect you against the virus. It's just there to make sure that if you use a natural product like aloe, that there are no infections in the aloe. So I'm just mixing that into this now. And that just basically just sterilizes. Okay. So that's the basis of the hand cream. Now we need uh, the stuff that kills the virus. Here I'm using alcohol. Now uh, this is 98% ethanol. You could use um, isopropyl alcohol, you, that's rubbing alcohol and you can get that in most chemists. But it has to be over 95%. Now if you can't get rubbing alcohol, it is running out, and you can't get high, high strength alcohol, you can actually buy overproof vodka or overproof rum. You can get rums and vodkas up to 88%. Now those are strong enough to put into this mixture. The point is that you need a final alcohol concentration of 66% in this mixture to be effective. If it's below that, it won't guarantee to kill the viruses. If it's above that, it will actually work. So you need 66 and above. Um, what I'm doing here is a 67% solution and I'm using 96% pure alcohol. So now I'm gonna measure 200 mils of this alcohol. So that's 100 mils, half. 
and another hundred. Now remember, because of the hydrogen peroxide I've added, this is this one, and because of the alcohol, this will be sterile. So you can actually make a very big batch now, store it in bottles, and until you open the bottles, you're fine. So that's the alcohol in there. We're going to mix everything together. Right, and I'm bringing in a bottle. So I'm just going to pour it into the bottle. And I've made the funnel just out of the top of another bottle. You don't have to be buy stuff specially for this. So here we go. Let's pour the mixture in. Okay, there we go. That's all you have to do. Open the, open the top of the bottle and put it on your hands. Rub it on your palms and rub it around your hands and make sure to go in between your fingers. Also rub your nails into your palms, make sure it goes into your nails. You need to spread it everywhere. Around your wrist and again over your palms, over the top of your fingers and again use your hands just to massage it in. Now the alcohol will evaporate and it will kill the virus and the moisturizer will go into your hands and will stop them cracking. So you, you killed your virus but you haven't made yourself susceptible to the disease because of the moisturizer. A virus killing um, moisturizer cream. And that's sterile, so you can keep the bottles for ages. But I suggest if, if you travel in a car, you can keep one in the car with you. Then you can use it whenever you want to.